Good afternoon, folks. Joe McMahon back in the Zorbsmore Proving Grounds. Uh, we had a great time at the Weeded Dredging Conference last week down in Wilmington, Delaware. We made a lot of new friends. There was a lot of buzz about our Zorbsmore Z pellets. People were really excited. If any of you are watching this, uh, thanks for taking the time to come by and see us. Uh, today, we're going to do a real brief show and tell against using some of the classics that you're all familiar with versus our patented Z pellet. We've got Portland Type 1 cement. Uh, you can see standard wood pellets, high calcium lime, something we've all used. You can think of the big dust clouds and, of course, fly ash, the product of uh, coal-fired power plants. Um, I've got six ounces of water in each cup. We can take a quick look at the scale just to see where I'm at. I want to make sure it's even across the board. And just to grab, we'll grab Mr. Fly Ash and see it should be an ounce of product. So it's an ounce for each one of them. And what we're going to do is simply go right down the line. I'm going to start with uh, everybody's favorite old man, Portland. We're going to start. I'm going to slide it forward. And yeah, it looks promising to start. There's a lot of action going on. We're going to go to the wood, straight wood pellets. Do not confuse these with our patented Z pellets. Here's our high calcium lime, folks. Again, something we're all familiar with. Let's see what it does. Uh, looks like it's going to work. Wow, look at that. And fly ash. Okay, no sleight of hand or trickery. Here come our patented Zorbsmore Z pellets. To the rescue, I might add. Let's kind of sit back and see what happens. Uh, the, you know, the classics that everybody's used for years were really never designed for what we use them for. It just turns out that they have some absorbing power. The key word being some. Um, and as most of you know, it's really not that much as you have to keep adding and adding to get a truly solidified product that's not going to release water going down the road, isn't going to get rejected at the landfill, um, and isn't going to fail the number 60 paint filter test. I think if we uh, get a close-up here on Old Man Portland, you can see that it's just settled to the bottom. So maybe if we're lucky, it helped to solidify a tiny bit of the water. Uh, the wood pellets are still bubbling, but you can still see it's a majority of water. Uh, I've got my high calcium lime. Same thing. You can really see it that it's settled. So you've got two separate uh, things in here. And the fly ash. I'm not really sure what the fly ash is doing other than uh, muddying up the water. And I think if you look um, at my Z pellets, you can see that the water is gone. In a very, very short amount of time, it's going to continue to act. Excuse me, it's going to continue to work. And this has really only been a couple of minutes. The thing I always like to show with this is uh, we know that I can't tip this one, this one, this one, or the fly ash because the water is going to go anywhere. Um, but I'm confident that I can tip the cup here and nothing's going to happen. We've done this test dozens of times. Uh, we had Army Corps of Engineers and all types of other um, environmental engineers that were floored when they saw this. We do have our little handy-dandy Vortex mixer, uh, which vibrates and rotates at 3,000 RPMs. Uh, we purchased it and brought it along to simulate a bumpy ride down the road on the way to the landfill. So we all know water release is not our friend. And you can really see this thing. You can also hear it. So even though this has been a short amount of time, let's give this a little test. You can see it's moving the material around. But unlike all other products, no water is separating from the material, which happens every time. So this has uh, got quite a, quite a bumpy ride here. And I'm going to do one more thing before we close this out. We're gonna do the water release test again. Let's see what happens. Zero water release. With the, with the four classics here, folks, you know what you would need to do, your eyes never lie. You would have to keep adding more mass to these to finally, hopefully solidify it. Bringing your volume up, bringing your landfillable weight up versus our patented, um, environmentally friendly product. No toxicity that's ready to go right now when adding a, just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, saving you, uh, getting through the job faster, safer, 
while lowering your costs greatly. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Contact us with any questions. Thank you.